There are four controls for the hydraulic functions of the dredge. The dredge pump on off valve, the travel valve, the hoist raise lower valve, and the cutter head control valve. To turn the pump on, you must close the dredge pump valve completely by turning the valve clockwise. To turn the dredge pump valve off, you must open the valve by turning it counterclockwise. This valve is not an adjustment. It is for on-off functions only. The travel valve is controlled by a lever that rotates to control the forward and reverse momentum of the cable guidance system. The hoist raise lower valve is also controlled by a lever, which raises or lowers the boom. It is important to let go of the lever when the boom is all the way up, or the boom may become bent. These are the two points that must be monitored when raising the boom all the way up. If raised past the contact points, damage to the boom may occur. The cutter head control valve is controlled by this lever. Pushing forward or pulling back on this lever changes the direction the cutter bar rotates. Pushing the lever forward turns the cutter bar forward. Pulling back on the lever reverses the direction the cutter bar is turning. The speed of the hoist and travel can be adjusted by the flow control valve on the side of the operator station. Pushing it up slows down the travel or hoist speed, while pushing down raises the travel or hoist speed. In this video, it shows what effect speeding up or slowing down has on raising or lowering the boom. It is recommended that in most circumstances it is left in the in-between position. The Dino 6 is protected by a Murphy engine shutdown system. This system has four separate gauges that monitor the stability of each function. The engine coolant temperature gauge, which monitors how hot the engine coolant becomes. The engine oil pressure gauge, which monitors the oil pressure in the system. The hydraulic oil level gauge, which shows whether there is enough hydraulic oil in the system the hydraulic oil temperature gauge, which monitors the temperature of the hydraulic oil in the system. At any point when these reach the max safety level set by the gauge, the machine will shut down and the Murphy Tattletail button will pop out. The problem must be addressed before continuing operation. Once fixed, you must push the Murphy Tattletail button back in to restart the machine. There are four gauges that tell you what the machine is doing. The tachometer, the cutter head pressure gauge, the discharge pressure gauge, and the pump motor hydraulic pressure gauge. The tachometer registers the engine RPMs and has an hour meter that registers the time that the key switch is on. The cutter head pressure gauge indicates the torque on the two cutter head motors. This gauge typically reads between 300 and 1,000 PSI while dredging. If the gauge goes up to 2,200 PSI and stays, this indicates that something is stuck in the cutter bar. This can often be released by reversing the direction of the cutter head control valve. The discharge pressure gauge reads the discharge pressure at the back of the boom. This video shows a normal discharge operating pressure pumping a short distance. If the pressure goes down, then the pump inlet is blocked or restricted and needs to be cleared. If the pressure goes up, then the discharge line is blocked or restricted and needs to be cleared. The pump motor hydraulic pressure gauge indicates the amount of work the pump impeller is actually doing. The pump motor pressure will read from 1700 to 2200 psi during normal dredging. If the pump inlet or the discharge line is blocked or restricted, this pressure will go down. If it rises to 2500 PSI and stays, this indicates that the pump impeller is blocked and there is something stuck in the pump. The discharge will read zero if something is blocking the impeller. This may require the pump to be raised and the object be removed through the inspection cover. In this video, it is being demonstrated how to safely remove something from blocking the impeller. Make sure to shut the machine off, Remove the inspection cover and pull the debris from blocking the impeller.
Make sure to replace the inspection cover before you continue dredging.